it would seem a fairly easy to accomplish imperative to help slow the spread of the coronavirus in the U.S. wear a mask. And indeed, lots of Americans are. But millions are not. And they're congregating, spreading the virus, worsening the crisis in this country daily. This past holiday weekend, merely an extreme example of what plays out here regularly. So does catastrophe now loom? I'd say we're pretty close. I do anticipate that after this weekend's parties, we are going to see uh, a bump. And consider that in those states where COVID has lately been spiking, Texas, for example, hospitals are already near capacity. And yet in Florida, where a man dressed as the Grim Reaper marched along busy beaches, signaling people should take more care, push back. Take that shit off. If you build, take that shit off. On the aversion to self-protection, many point to the example set by Donald Trump, who not only doesn't wear one, but this weekend said with increased testing lately. We show cases, 99% of which are totally harmless. That's close to the survival rate, but ignores the roughly 20% of cases bad enough to need hospital care, said Trump's press secretary today. The president was noting the fact that the vast majority of Americans uh, who contract coronavirus uh, will come out on the other side of this. In New York, meanwhile, where following strict guidelines turn things around, they're now well into reopening. Today, a call for Trump to emphasize COVID is a very serious problem. If he does not acknowledge that, then he is facilitating the virus. And goes to thinking contributing to more COVID illness and death in a country already leading the world in both. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.